So now they want your kids pitching rocks. Have you heard about this? Pennsylvania School District, what is it? Blue Mountain School District Superintendent David Helsel. Am I pronouncing that right, Helsel? I might be pronouncing that incorrectly. Wants to arm students with stones. And I'm going to read you a quote here from him. It says, every classroom has been equipped with a five-gallon bucket of river stone, Helsel told lawmakers. If an armed intruder attempts to gain entrance into any of our classrooms, they will face a classroom full of students armed with rocks, and they will be stoned. And I know somewhere out there is somebody saying, oh, so if I take my gun to school, I get stoned. Woo! No, it's not that kind of stoning, kid. Uh, he must think he's in the Middle East. They love throwing rocks. And you can say whatever you want about that statement, but show me a protest in the Middle East where there aren't rocks flying around all over the place. <laughs> it's always pitching rocks. So I have a few questions about that. He says there's a five-gallon bucket in the classroom. And he says the students are going to be armed with rocks. They aren't armed with rocks if it's in a bucket. That's a bucket full of stones. They have to be able to make it to that bucket in order to throw them, which if it's a shooter situation, that's not going to happen for a variety of reasons. Uh, another question is, what if it's a false alarm and they start pelting somebody with rocks by mistake? Could happen. Um, and, you know, I'm just sitting here at this point waiting for the story about the kid who gets his teeth knocked in by some classroom bully because that could happen also. But in all fairness, that could happen anyways because that's what a bully does. And a the public schools of today are a bully's absolute playground because your children have been trained to be cowards. I mean, think about the um, inconsistencies here. You're in a public school where it's against the rules to play dodgeball because it's dangerous and it encourages bullying, where you can't throw snowballs it's illegal to touch, according to the school, illegal to touch snow. We don't want them throwing snow. You can't throw a ball, you can't throw snow, but you can throw a rock. And if they don't practice throwing snowballs, how are they going to be accurate with the stones? I don't know. I, I, <laughs> I've got a bunch of questions about this. Now, the next part he says here, he said, I'm going to read you another quote. He says, obviously a rock against the gun isn't a fair fight. No kidding. But it's better than nothing. I'm not sure why some people feel that it's more appropriate to be a stationary target under a desk in a classroom rather to be rather than be empowered to defend yourself and provide a response to deter the entry of an armed intruder into their classroom. Now I agree with that statement. I agree with that part. The reason being that, like I had just said, uh, public schools have been training your children to be cowards for generations, literally for generations. It says, it says coffee, 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 coffee. There's no coffee in it, but it says coffee. <laughs> um, and I'll go back to this story. I told this story before. Some of you may not have heard it, so I'll go ahead and I'll say it anyways. I had a client that I was working with years ago. It was a boy, and he was soaking wet, and he's crying. And the reason he's crying is because uh, some kid was bullying him by throwing trash on him out of a dumpster. The bully was in the dumpster throwing trash out of the dumpster on him. And... I'm sitting there thinking to myself, he's in a dumpster. He's in a dumpster. That makes him a target to me. And I said some things to him I probably shouldn't have said because I just wanted to feel him out. It, it was one of those short rectangular ones like the kind you see behind a restaurant. I'm like, he's in a dumpster. Why don't you close the lid? Why don't you uh, try to get him to come out and then push him? I bet you he'd have gotten hurt if he slid in that dumpster, right? Or... Why didn't you run? Why didn't you run away? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And that typical uh, kid response, I don't know. He doesn't know because he doesn't understand why he just stood there. 
but he's been trained to just stand there. The political and social programming agenda in public schools wants to give you the third F. You know, the two Fs are fight and flight, right? You run away or you fight. If you get cornered, you fight back. But there's a third F and it's freeze. It's when you don't know what to do because you have never given in to those instincts. So you just stand there and wait to be rescued, which is exactly what the public school wants because that's what they want from adults is for us to stand there and wait for authority to come and save us. And it doesn't work. You grow up and you find out it doesn't freaking work. Authorities aren't going to be able to save you. You sh should have learned how to save yourself, either by running away or defending yourself. But they robbed that of these children. Look around on YouTube. You can find a thousand videos of some kid getting bullied and beaten on. And what's consistent in many of them? The kid stands there and just takes it. What's he doing? Why doesn't he try to get away? Why doesn't he try to fight back even if he can't? Even if it's futile for him to fight back? Because he's been trained to wait to be rescued. And the rescue never comes. So yeah, they've been teaching these kids to be wimps in public school. They're teaching your children to be cowards. And so he's saying, oh, I want to give them a different option. I agree with that. Even if it's just rocks. <laughs> At least they have this concept in their minds. Hey, I can defend myself. It's very human. It's something that they've been getting robbed of. It's bad enough that the society and public school robs your children of their childhood as it is. They're stealing part of their humanity as well. But will they react? Or will they just sit at their desks and get shot to pieces? Are they going to react? That's the other question because, again, this is programming. So they've been taught for a really long time to just sit there and wait and sit there and wait instead of reacting. And I'll tell you another story here. And I, this is not something that I witnessed. This is something that I read. And I read this. It was more than 10 years ago. I tried to find the news story so I could put a link, but I can't find it. And this is just out of memory here. It was in Israel. It was, the, it, it was uh, at a synagogue. And it was a congregation in the synagogue. And two gunmen came in and confronted the crowd. And the crowd rushed them and overpowered these two men. And they were shot. They started shooting. And I think something like eight or ten people got shot. I don't know how many were, if any were or how many were killed. I don't recall. But I know that like eight or ten people got shot. But the whole congregation rushed these two and beat them down and disarmed them. Could you see that happening in a restaurant in the United States, in the United Kingdom, Europe, somewhere? Could you see that happening in a school, in a church? Probably not. Probably not because they've been trained to let someone else deal with it. And you might have one guy who's at the supermarket, for example, and somebody comes in and he tries to act and a lot of times when they act, they are successful. You can find just as many videos on YouTube of somebody taking on a gunman in a convenience store. Somebody comes and sticks a gun in the clerk's face and another guy who happens to have a carry permit comes out and says, uh-uh, <laughs> you're done. This happens all the time. But that person when they do it is on their own because they're not going to get any help from anybody because they've been trained to let someone else deal with it. And that's the problem. Are these kids going to deal with it? You've got a classroom full of kids who have no real sense of discipline, no real sense of honor. And quite frankly, the bucket being somewhere in the room isn't going to help. They would have to have immediate access. I mean, if they had some stones sitting on their desk, in a little basket use in case of emergency that's being armed because it's right there not oh where the hell the bucket where's the bucket what corner of the room is it in if anybody even goes for it and I, I know I'm just going way out on left field in the discussion but that's kind of my point the rock idea is kind of silly the only way it's going to work is if the kids have immediate access and if they're willing to use it 
if they haven't been so brainwashed and programmed to rely on the system to save them like the system has been training them for the last couple of decades, turning these kids into marshmallows. Your kid goes to pro uh, public school, it's probably a marshmallow. I'm sorry. You can hate me if you want to and give me all the negative comments you want. That's just the bottom line. I've worked in this system. I've seen it. I've seen it. These kids have no sense of discipline, no sense of honor. They have no life skills. They don't know how to function. It's pitiful. They got honor rolls and can't write legibly. They can't print words legibly. They can't write a paper that makes any sense. They don't know how to sign with their name. They can't do basic math. I've, I've had too many clients that I worked with when I was with, in juvenile justice, literally like 3.8, 3.9, 4.0 a roll students that we got them a job at like McDonald's or uh, Little Caesars or something and we'd have to give them a tray you know like you go to the dollar store, Dollar General or something, uh, Dollar Tree and they have in the toy department they get the fake little cashier's tray with the little play money in it have to give them those to learn how to count money because they couldn't do it but they have a freaking honor roll. Honestly, your kids aren't learning anything at school. But back to the point, is it a good idea for this guy to try to encourage his the students in his district to take an initiative? Yes. Is the rock I get deer gonna work? Probably not. But what do I know? I just want opinion. What do you think? You can go ahead and put your uh, ideas or suggestions about that in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think. I'd be curious to see. So like it always says, stay tuned. There's more to come.